Lee and Cheryl have been searching for the right Spanish property for nearly four years. Their rather unusual plan is to breed snails, and this old water mill near Almeria seemed the perfect spot. There was even talk of a partnership with Barry, the British estate agent. Everything was looking rosy, until they looked inside. The project was far too big for the two of them to handle. And Barry then admitted he was not interested in a partnership. I thought very quickly, there's no business here. No business partnership of any kind here. seaside town of El Pozuelo, surrounded by acres of the tomato-growing greenhouses so typical of the Almeria province. Lee, Cheryl and Barry have spent the night at the town's only hotel. But after the disappointments of the previous day, tensions are running high. I'm very, very disappointed, very disappointed. The mill has shattered the both of us. It's just completely shattered us because <laughs> it's nothing like, like it was explained to me, I had one photograph to look at and I was told that the roof wasn't that bad, it had fallen in, but it wasn't that bad. I think he was put off by the sheer size of the building and the fact that the roof had caved in. And, and it was the wrong time to talk that through. Yeah. But what I saw was a guy who was too... Who, who jumped in too quickly into things. I don't think he'd done any real thinking through any of this. He's led us right up the garden path and he's got no intentions whatsoever of ever coming in partnership or whatever with us. And I needed him in partnership with me because I can do the work, not a problem, but I can't speak the language and I don't want no more way around with the town hall and the legalities, etc. And this is the part that I wanted, I wanted Barry in for. The difficulty is in knowing what Lee's criteria really are. Uh, my difficulty perhaps even beyond that is wondering if Lee knows what his priorities are. I don't think he knows. He's got a dream but he hasn't pinned it down enough to make it, uh, to make my expectations of a sale very good. Nonetheless, Barry has arranged to meet with Lee and Cheryl. We might as well wait and see if he's got anything else that might be of interest. Um, you know, it's not gonna hurt. We're not gonna be able to do anything else, are we? To be honest, I've gone off him at 200 mile an hour, but that's <laughs> by the by. Despite Lee's misgivings, he knows that Barry's expertise could help them locate the area best suited to their criteria. I've got to work out with you what it is you're looking for, and then see if we can find it. Ideally, Lee and Cheryl would like to spend no more than 100,000 euros. And in order to show Barry the type of property they've been considering, Lee's brought details from other agents. Um, I mean, there's one, for instance, Finca. It's only 90,000 euros. Yeah. You can get something like that or for less, up in the Almeria province area, inland from places like Mojaca. But another option might be up towards Granada that we talked about yesterday. Yeah. Which is much, it's much more attractive, but you're not likely to get the same amount of land with it. Well, we do need a bit of space around us, not only for the dogs, but my snails. Well, they need to run around, don't they? <laughs> no, to put their buildings up, obviously. <laughs> but. Yeah, Granada is fine. I mean, that's... That's that's one option. And mm. you have access to a beautiful city. Perhaps we'd better go for that, then. Well, hang on. The other, the other thing is temperature. I, I love it up near Granada, but it's colder in the winter. Now, it's still very beautiful living, certainly from mm. a British point of view. Mm. Um, yeah. Well, which area would you like? Granada or Almeria? I, I myself, my preference is Granada area. OK, well, that's the demand of questions. I need to make a phone call first. Yeah, right. It'll no take problem. us about two hours to get there. Yeah. Right, Granada. We'll go Granada. <laughs> we will go Granada. So Barry makes a call to an agent he knows in the Granada area and arranges a meeting in the small town of Puerto Lope. This region of Spain is called Andalusia and it provides some of the country's most varied scenery. 
As Lee and Cheryl turn inland from the Mediterranean coast, they climb up through spectacular valleys and vast fertile plains towards the ancient city of Granada, where the ring road causes a few navigational problems. So what's the next one on this road, then? We, we turned off now, and we're going up, up there, aren't we? I don't know. Oh. Well, this, this map really isn't very good. It is, for why... goodness sake. It's the same roads as on any well, other I'll map. Well, I'll tell you what, then you pull over and I'll oh. drive and you can read the oh, map. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. No way yeah. on this planet. And do you know why? Because you don't want to get it wrong, that's why. You've got a blockage, you women, about reading maps. You realise that, don't you? It's very difficult when the man is driving. Scientific fact. Anything I see might be held against me, so I... Malaga, this way. Where? Where's Malaga? This way. Where's Malaga? It didn't say Malaga. Oh, it did on the sign before. That's right, that road. Oh, which road? The road we just came back. Oh, down. for goodness sake. <laughs> Where are we going to now? I have no idea. Granada. We're not going to Granada, because we've just come from right, Granada Right, so it's got to be the opposite way, then. Right. So we're in the wrong lane. We'll oh, go... dear, oh, dear. Cadoba, Cadoba, that's the next one. 432. Yes. That's this road? Yes. Oh. 432. All right, don't keep on. Well, that wasn't difficult, was it? I'm going to biff you. So, just an hour late, Lee and Cheryl arrive for their rendezvous with Barry and his local contact, Rod. <laughs> I've got a, a yen to, to breed snails. Yeah. Right? Well, there's some big snails around here. Exactly. <laughs> Rod moved to the Granada region two years ago, so he knows the local property market well. I have a racetrack built in. What compliments snails are worms. And what you get from worms <laughs> is, is peat. Or compost. compost. But the difficulty will be in finding exactly the property Lee and Cheryl want for the money they have to spend. What we're looking for basically is a small house with a bit of land if possible. Not Rural properties tend to be more expensive and Rod might have to steer them towards a compromise location. And there is a problem with, with regards to property in the country because most of it comes with vast amounts of land. But as far as a village is concerned, I mean, we've got one in the village of Eora. I think that's worth having a look at. And then we've got a property in the beautiful village of Moklim, um, which has got a large patio area. Again, that's running to about 120 square metres. And it is a beautiful village, yeah. Sat on the side of the hill, views over to the Sierra Nevadas. Oh, it's, it's, well worth, it's well worth a look. Yeah, that's, that's uh, yeah. So if it's OK with you, we'll sort of head off there first. Yeah, yeah. that would okay. be great. <laughs> The dramatic landscape in this part of the Granada province is abundant with rolling olive groves and fortified Moorish castles, like this one overlooking the beautiful picture postcard village of Marklin, nestling high up in the Andalusian hills. First stop is the bar to meet with Pepe. Hello, Pepe. How are you? Until he retired last year, Pepe was the local policeman. So he knows everyone in the village and has now become their de facto property agent. <laughs> there are actually two houses for sale in the village, situated side by side. But it's this one that Rod thinks is most suitable. This, this side needs very little doing to it whatsoever. Well, you might decide otherwise, yeah, right. but you could move in there and live in there comfortably tonight if you wanted. What about parking? Is that a problem here? It's not really a problem because everybody just parks on the side of the road. Getting in might be a problem. <laughs> One of the drawbacks of having been a policeman in such a rural backwater is that Pepe lacks the hands-on experience of the dawn drug raid. So handy when it comes to opening the average Spanish front door. <laughs> this house is on the market for 90,000 euros as seen and appears to come fully equipped with furniture, electrical appliances and even framed family photos. It's quite basic but well maintained and couldn't be more different to the mill. Well, there's nothing to do here. Let's have a look outside. That's yeah. the most important thing. Okay. Because it's in a village, one of Lee and Cheryl's main concerns is whether there's enough space for their two dogs. Uh -huh. So this is it. Patio for the dog. Mm. Mm. And there's a garden area as well. Oh, right. Oh, there is. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. The typical Spanish patio leads out onto the walled garden. Yeah, you've got a... 
Hey. My God. Yeah. Yeah. They grow well over here, don't they? <laughs> Laure, español. Esto, a comida. Yeah. A mm. Ah, mint. Oh, mint. Mint. Yeah. Mint. Yeah. mint. Oh, um, yeah, mint. <laughs> the garden is totally secluded and has excellent views. And you could cement the fact that you're looking over there. Mm. The house has three bedrooms in all, two of which are upstairs. It's simple, but has everything that they'd need. One of the bedrooms. Right, OK, a master bedroom. I yeah, nice high ceiling. Yeah, oh, wow. cool. yeah. Stay cool in the summer. Yeah. And then just through here. A through. washing machine. Yes, of course. <laughs> Gotta have the washing machine. Well, why not? Oh, you no, well, look. In the bathroom, of course. There's a second bedroom. Nice bedroom. Again, I think, you know, if you use your imagination and just think what you could do. And another en suite, is it? No. No. That's the, the inevitable sort of junk room. Oh, wow. oh, everybody's got a junk room. You could even make this a bedroom and make that the bathroom mm. because yeah. it's a bit smaller, that space there. I mean, you just need to use a bit of imagination. Yeah. Yeah. Lee and Cheryl undoubtedly like what they've get, seen. Um, the but there's not much space outside for breeding snails. So will they be swayed towards a village location? I love this. I really do love this it. This is a beautiful it's, village. And it's, cool, it's, it's quiet. It's just what we wanted, but it's no parking and, you know... With something rather on the outskirts, I think, don't you? Yeah, I do. Even though I, I think mm. it's structurally is fantastic. You know, it's very little work to do, but I don't know because it's in the village. Right, so we'd rather it on the outskirts. Rod still has his other village property to show them, but he can't get hold of the owner until the following day. Lee is losing patience and doesn't want to hang around. But Barry eventually persuades him to give Rod another day and books them into a hotel. I think they should stay overnight here. There's one property on the edge of Ilora village, which is a little way away from here, but the surroundings are very beautiful. It's a good-sized village, so there's enough there to keep them both happy, I think, and the property that Rod has available for us, which I haven't actually seen. This is one of Rod's that I haven't seen yet. He says could be what they're looking for. Barry seems to be a bit of an idiot and he won't listen. He's now trying to show us properties in the middle of a town. And the town is no, no good. What, it's, it's, no... It, it's a really nice place, but it, we, did, we asked for somewhere rural, didn't we? That's not, right. Not and actually to be honest village. with you, To be honest with you, I'd rather jump in the car now. And There's another place that we've, we, I've found. I found it a few months ago, actually. And it's up in Laura Debra, which is up near Barcelona which is, I don't know, seven, 750 miles, I suppose. They're not going to do anything by going driving north tonight. They can still get as far north as they want to get tomorrow if they don't find what... if they don't like what we're going to show them tomorrow morning. Lee and Cheryl are searching southern Spain for their dream home. And although they're looking for a rural property, they've been persuaded by the estate agent to come here to the small town of Ilura near Granada to view a house they were unable to see on the previous day. The old town centre of Ilura is steeped in history, and its maze of streets are abundant with fine examples of classic local architecture. But the house that Lee and Cheryl have come to view is newer and sits up on a ridge on the outskirts of the town. And there is, yeah, there is parking. Oh, look at that. At first sight, it its is, position yeah. looks much more promising than they had expected. You car, don't you? Plenty of room. Yeah. Have to modify that a little bit. Well, with shells well, I yeah. knew he was <laughs> going to say that. There's a courtyard garden on the front side of the property with plenty of established trees bringing welcome shade in the 40 degree heat. Oh, this is lovely. Mm. Yeah. Very nice. First thing you notice is how cool it is. Oh, yeah. Inside, it's furnished, it's well maintained, and surprisingly it? big. It's lovely. Oh. Well, I am impressed. Apart oh. from the green. Yeah, <laughs> the kitchen come parlour has an open fireplace because the winter months up here in the hills can be deceptively chilly. It's all down. <laughs> Then we've got a bedroom, yeah. yeah. Currently being used as a bedroom. Yeah. Yeah, or a little study. Just oh. lovely and light. My idea would be to knock through and make it a bigger lounge. Yeah. It would make a fantastic make a nice, lounge. Yeah, it would make a nice big lounge. Or a lounge come diner even. Yeah. So you don't need them. Good God. Food. Look at that. <laughs> it goes on and on. They're, they're so deceiving. These, these... The current dining room is very spacious and has spectacular well, views. From the outside, I wouldn't think it was anything like this. No way. It looks like a tiny little bungalow. In actual fact, I probably might make this the kitchen. 
Oh, I thought you were going to say no then. No, no. Oh, it would make no, a no. superb kitchen, wouldn't it? That would be a utility room, wouldn't it? Oh, I would think so. Yeah, of course it would. It's only got a temporary roof on it. Yeah. Although it's probably been there for about 50 oh, years. Oh, that is fantastic. Look, I can hang my washing up there. <laughs> OK. Right, we'll go around and have a look in the sitting room or what's currently the sitting room. Sitting room? room. Yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> what can I say? It's like... It's, you can't believe it's as big as it is. OK, then. So this would be the study if you're going to knock that one through. Yeah, this would make a lovely study, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Because it it's cool, because it's sheltered with yeah, the trees and everything. The There's one other so very room, simple bedroom on this oh, floor. Right, yeah. And then you've got the bathroom or shower room through there. Well, this could be a guest room shower. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh is that tall enough for you? <laughs> Hardly. But never mind. Try it. Yes, it is. I can do get away with that. You'd have to have a power shower in you, but I could get away with that. Oh, good. So we'll have a, yeah, this thing. Pressure then. Mm. I was, the main thing, Rod, was the, the shower, isn't it? Well, there's a hell of a pressure on that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that enough pressure, Lee? <laughs> yeah, there's plenty. That's super. <laughs> there's even a small terrace. Oh, and, you, and look, a grapevine. And you've got your grapevine oh, there, you are. <laughs> I just said to him that that's what I would like to have. This is yeah. lovely. Well, I think this is the sensational. The lit up at night as well, in, in a bathed in orange light. Really? Obviously, it looked far better at night than it does in the day, because there's not that much left of it. That is going to be a phenomenal view when it when yeah. all that haze is gone. But this is the view from the terrace there. overlooks the ancient part of the town. Right and the open countryside beyond regularly attracts an unlikely visitor. Oh. And Prince Charles can be found here occasionally. Probably comes here once or twice a year. Really? I've, I'm amazed, I'm astounded. This is, really is it just is what lovely. we were looking for, actually. It is lovely. This is, like, the ideal... Um, um, there is one, one thing. We don't actually know how much it is. No. <laughs> dare, we, dare we ask, Rod? 89,000 euros. 89,000 euros. Yeah, it's well within your budget. Pounds, I think yeah. this yeah. particular property is exceptional value for money. You haven't, you haven't even seen a third of it yet. So this is what the top floor. Yeah. Needs a bit of work doing. Hola. Hola. Bueno dia. Bueno dia. Adio. Oh wow. Noisy neighbours could be a drawback, but it looks like Barry and Rod were absolutely right to persuade them to stay and view the house. Now, fired with enthusiasm, Lee wastes no time in redesigning the entire layout. I think this would have to be opened up in uh, all these little rooms. A lot of house for your money, don't you? It is a lot of house, yeah. And there's something there to keep you happy, because there are things that need to be done. Just a bit. The ground floor has plenty of storage space, always an essential for Lee, and leads out onto the walled garden. It does get a bit more rustic if we come further down. And another garden. Yeah. It wouldn't take much to make it all look stunning, and the price is right on their budget. Oh, yeah, there's a gate here to drive in off the road. We even keep some chickens here. They've got the cabin and the run. Oh, yeah! I, yeah, of course they... I would. I'd, I'd love to. I'd love to keep chickens. See, that underneath area there would be quite perfect for snails. Absolutely yeah. perfect. It's one of the nicest ones we've seen up to now, isn't it? Oh, I think so. Yeah. I really do. It's, it just goes on and on and on. Cheryl is in no yeah. doubt that it's the it's place for her. But after nearly four years of searching, I'm the need to make a decision has rather caught Lee on the hop. The only one drawback is it is in a village, but... Mm. So there's no mind? land with it, but that's... We've got there. Yeah. That's the only, the is... only thing at the moment is a bit of space, but uh, perhaps we might be able to live with it for a minute. Lee knows he'll have to move fast if he's to get the house, but he's a man who likes to keep his options open and has decided he can't possibly commit here until he's viewed the farmhouse he's heard about up near Barcelona. I must go and see that other one. I must. Right. Because think back, think back, we were coming over to look at a mill with a stream with a bit of land. Now we've gone from that to a townhouse. Yeah. We've got a huge amount of territory. Yeah, but you see, you see what I'm saying? I, I've got this thing in my mind. Yeah. I see the potential there and I see the... Um, I 
to see the kitchen. Yeah, but we never contemplated in the beginning yeah, a, we, yeah. a townhouse. It wasn't what we were looking for. You always said that, but that yeah. happens so often. Yeah. I know. People yeah. change their mind on the viewing trip. Let's go and have a drink, shall we? No, let's have a drink. Talk some more. <laughs> let's go and have a drink. That was cooler, isn't it? So what does yeah. Barry now feel is the probability of a sale? <laughs> My gut instinct is that they will probably go for this, but they have to eliminate the other one. Um, I think he's a guy who doesn't make decisions easily. We've seen over the last few days how much he swings. And I'm aware that uh, nothing yet is certain in terms of a, a property deal. How many miles are you going to travel now? Roughly? Well, we don't know. It's about 14 or 1,600 kilometres there and back. So we'll be, we're going now. We'll be back by Tuesday morning, probably. And what happens if, if you don't like that? Would you go for anything here, do you think? Well, we've probably come back and we'll... And go for the house that we've just Go seen. for the house in the village as, as probably a project. a project for our first project. Before we make our minds up on this one that I fell in love with, yeah. we need to see the other one first. So the race is on and Lee couldn't be happier. The journey from Elora to Mora Debra covers almost the entire length of Spain. And because Barry needs an answer on the house as soon as possible, Lee's given himself just 24 hours to do it. The final part of their epic drive takes them through the ancient city of Tortosa and up into the hills along the banks of the river Ebra. The Ebra is the longest river in Spain, with its source located in the Cantabrian mountains some 800 kilometers away. So I really think this is a very, very pretty area, much prettier than where we've been. Mora Debra itself is a beautiful old agricultural town. Totally unspoiled, it sits right on the banks of the river. Lee and Cheryl finally arrive less than a day after leaving Elora but the journey has taken its toll, and fatigue is causing them to call into question the fundamentals of the male-female relationship. Because that's why men come from Venus and men come from... No, uh, women come from Venus and men well, come no. from Mars. Yeah, well... Yeah. And you've got no consideration that a woman could possibly be right about anything. Correct. Because they've got too many hormones and it cocks them up and twice a month. Oh, yeah, right. And the full moon doesn't affect the men, does it? No, no not much. Well, we don't have not periods, many, Benny. Ah, oh, shut up. So it was a week before. No, I seriously well, no. Week after, so no. Got one week that no, went, I disagree. Yeah. Men have cycles in exactly the same way as women do. Tell me so smoke. I am telling you, and you have moods, and it all goes round in the same monthly thing. You just don't have to put up with the inconvenience that we do because you don't have to have babies. Hormonal differences aside, the house they've come all this way to see is situated on the bank of the river Ebra. Lee saw it advertised for €80,000 in Dalton's Weekly and made contact with the owner a couple of months ago. But he hasn't been able to raise him on the telephone during their drive up. And knowing they need to give Barry an answer as soon as possible, they decide to go and have a look anyway. Will that knock your eye out? Right, come on then. Let's go and have a look. So, will their epic journey be worth it? Will this be the house of Lee and Cheryl's dreams? You couldn't wish for a better place than this, you see. This is absolutely what I had in mind in the beginning. Or will circumstances conspire against them yet again? Lee upset me because he came here without my permission. So what am I doing here? What am I wasted 700 miles and another 700 miles to drive back? I told you, that's what it looks like. That's what it's like. Mm -hmm. 